it's all throughout the Bible that he knows who you are. He knows who you are. He even tells you that if you submit to me, and we'll get to that in a minute, if you submit to me that I'll help you with those things. So he already knows your heart. And so that brings us now to submitting yourself. Okay. A dynamic with any relationship is that you have to submit yourself. You know, these um, these companies, they say, oh, we're, we're in, you and I are in relationship. No, we're not. I mean, we may have some kind of relationship, but I'm not fully submitted to you. So when, when I submit myself, I humble myself. I give myself to God. I do it. For real. He says to give it give yourself in spirit and in truth. And that just means I give my I give my whole being to you. Okay, I'm not lying to you, right? I'm not lying to you. I'm I, listen, everything that I'm telling you, God, is real. Help. You know, if I don't say anything else but help, I'm talking to you. And so I'm submitting myself, and, and I'm and I'm trusting you, which is, brings me to the the, the next um, element of the, the the relationship is trust slash faith, right? And tr and actually, faith we always you know use that word. It's kind of like a churchy type of word, tr faith. But faith is really trust. So when you go to the bank, you just got paid. You know that your bank your check is in the bank. You know that. Like nobody can tell you there's no money in the bank. Nobody can tell you that, right? And the same is true of your life, period, in Christ. You know, you will even battle. This is probably one of the greatest battles in this area is trusting God. Okay, whether that's I, 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 I want to I wanna do my own thing or it's I want to get this money. Or I want revenge. I want to see this sucker dead. Okay? No matter what it is, we still have to trust God to handle it and handle it and really handle it. Right? And so, um, and one of the scriptures, we always say um, the faith is evidence of things not hoped for. And um, faith is the evidence of things hoped for. And it's a Hebrews 11 and 1. Look it up. But he, the bottom line is saying that you know that the evidence is there. That's that what that scripture means. Hebrews 11 and 1 it means um, that you already, you already, you don't have the evidence, but you know the evidence is there. You dig what I'm saying? You don't know that it's there, but you know that it's there. You feel me? And I know that's confusing, but we'll get into that another time. And then forgiveness. Now, Again, this is one of those dynamics that is definitely going to be dual, okay? A lot of people say, well, how can we forgive God? Uh, many of us, I don't know about you, but I certainly have been angry with God, okay? Which is why I opt not to know what's going on in the, wor in the world by not watching the news. I am the most ignorant person you can know because I refuse to watch the news. It hurts. It hurts me because I'm saying to myself, God, I know you can handle this. I know you can handle this. Why would you let this child get raped? Come on, what are you doing? You know, and that's so real. And like I said, you know, your relationship with God is, it's an exchange. That's what relationship is, it's an exchange. So I'm telling him, please prevent children tonight from getting raped. God, please. And if you don't, well, I'm mad at you, but I forgive you. You know what I mean? You don't curse God. That's where things get ugly and mean and, and just very disrespectful. Okay? He says, and, and you want to be slow to anger. So my, my every day is not waking up, I'm angry with God. Dig what I'm saying, okay? That's, as a matter of fact, that's hardly ever what I say to God. I don't ever say that to God. You know? But every now and again, when I hear things that are so incredulous, that hurt my heart, I say, well, I know you love them more than I love them. I didn't even know them. So I know it hurts your heart, too. You know? So, um, 
forgiveness is important in any relationship and sometimes we we go in a relationship deciding that i've already forgiven you and i already know that you're going to do something that's going to hurt my feelings and so therefore yeah i'm choosing always to forgive you okay the next dynamic is tolerance now this is where i say tolerance is not going to be one of those things that we want to say that we're doing with God. We're not to be tolerant of God. As a matter of fact, we're to exhort him because he is tolerant of me, right? He is, God, you're tolerant of me. And I bless you for that. I bless you for helping me along the way, even though I'm disappointing you. And that brings me to my next, um, my next, my next dynamic is disappointment in every in every relationship every relationship you're going to experience disappointment so one of the things that I talked about earlier was about how we feel dis disappointed and we have to forgive right and the same is true now of our lives in Christ we are going to look like we're going to be disappointed right so that's just life guys he doesn't want to disappoint you but the, the fact is that you will be disappointed whether he whether he even if he did something that he's trying to help you on the other side of things say he's telling you to go left and you decide to go right and on your way to going right um you jump in a ditch or you fall down a ditch Okay, well then that's your silly behind because you didn't listen. You weren't obedient. You dig what I'm saying? So disappointment will come whether it's because of your doing or because it is doing, but you will experience disappointment. Um, the next one is endurance. We have to endure with God. Um, and he has to endure with us. for the long haul okay I don't care how mad I get at you and I know you, you you've already decided to forgive me otherwise you wouldn't have gone through all that that you did on the cross okay so I already know that we're in it for the long haul I've been knowing Jesus since I'm 16 years old so yeah I could I could I, I qualify somebody who could stand here with confidence and tell you what a relationship looks like with them because I've been through the meal with them I've been through the meal with him. I've been loving him since I'm 16 years old. He's been knowing me and loving me and showing me himself since I'm 16 years old. And I'm, what, 17 now? <laughs> okay. But I'm 17 in, in, in my spirit because I have joyfulness, which brings me to my next point, right? Life in Christ isn't just disappointment. It's more joyfulness. So... I look forward to every day, right? I look, that doesn't mean that I don't have problems, right? Everybody, everybody is going to have problems. It doesn't matter who you are. If you're a lot, you're going to have problems, but we're going to keep on keeping on and we're going to have the joy of the Lord that is in, on the inside of us. He comes inside and he, that's one of the seeds that he gives us. That's one of the fruits that he gives us and, and it comes down it goes down really nice and gooey and ooey and then it's here right and then it bubbles over and then it's when when we meet people <laughs> us angry christians in church we need to get it together angry christians in church okay i went to church today and i oh my goodness i'm gonna write a letter to the church because they were the most hateful hateful people oh my goodness no wonder people don't go to church I couldn't believe it. I said, are you serious? Don't, none of y'all got no relationship with Jesus. Uh -uh. Y'all might as well sit y'all's butts down because you're tired. Okay. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And when we're tired, it helps us endure. Okay. I'm not going to keep preaching. And part of our experience with God is growing. Ow. We get to grow. We get to grow. We get to be big people in Christ, right? And as we get
get to know him by what? lady get stupid now by what reading our word listening to the word of God right this is how we get to hear him we get to have expectations of God we get to know God we get to learn God we get to grow okay and these are dynamics that are all on our part okay because he doesn't grow any more in love with us than he is with you today and i learned that through, through joyce meyer and it kind of threw my head for a loop but i tell you what it blessed me because it lets me know that no matter what i do i can't earn his love no matter what i don't do right enough or no matter how i, I went left on you know yesterday i'm forgiven today right and so he's still in love with me he's still in love with me He's still in love with me. He's still in love with me, right? He's not gonna divorce me. And then we're gonna talk about manifestations. God is a God of manifestations. So I've been I've been knowing Jesus since I'm 16 and I'm still rocking with him at 40, I'll put it out there, I'm getting ready to be 47, right? And I'm still rocking with him because I get to see the evidence of who he is. He shows me evidence, right? And I, I, I will stand on that till the day I die. He gives, I'm grounded in him because I know with everything that is within me, I know that he lives because he lives here. <laughs> and it's a wonderful ride, okay? Because he's mighty counselor, he's provider, he's, he's, he's lover of my soul, he's keeper, okay? He's, 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 oh, he's overflowing in my heart and in my life and showing me that he loves me, he cares for me showing me ever showing me and not just me all christians around the world you know all christians all christians not just me <laughs> and then the last one is sacrifice and sacrifice is going to be one that you're not going to want to hear but this is one of the things that we we have to do we do have to sacrifice i'm not going to lie to you okay just like any relationship you're going to have to say okay maybe tonight because the rent is due i have to eat ramen noodles okay but when I get paid on the first I'm gonna get some steak okay whatever the case is a sacrifice in this instance can be just the sacrifice of praise I don't feel like praising you God but I love you and I praise you and you're wonderful you are magnificent but I don't feel well I'm, I'm, I'm about to barf but I bless you anyway I can't stand this person but God I bless you that you'll give me love and the, the endurance to help them even when I see them down and, 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 and out see and that's what relationship looks like and thank you so much for joining the real bionic lady the black one <laughs> love you guys bye